Welcome back to Brazen Brits. As you can see, we're in the bunkhouse of our Grand Design 312 BHTS. Um, there is a desk here you would have seen if you've been following us. I had the desk and my big monitor. I've removed everything because there's a few changes I'm going to make. But it did remind me that the very first thing we filmed for our channel was building this desk and we never released the video. So that's what we're going to do today. But before we get started on that, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was yesterday. We had a great time. Thanks to everyone who um, who supports us and and subscribes and likes and, and all the comments and the tips and advice that people give us. Um, it's been uh, an amazing year. Um, it's funny, I thought I knew everything there was to know about RVs and I've watched all the YouTube channels and bought all the products and everything, but there's still people who tell us stuff that um, have been amazing tricks. So thank you to everyone for that. Um, one other thing, t-shirts. We have the first edition Brazen Bridge uh, t-shirts. It is a limited run. We're never going to run this again. It says first edition on there. Um, you can go and order those now. Um, it does close on December 4th, which I think is next week. Um, so I think you have six or seven days left to order that. So um, don't forget to go and do that. Thank you to everyone else who has, who has ordered um, t-shirts before. Bonfire have promised that uh, any orders will be delivered in time for Christmas. Um, I do worry. I know we've had a lot of orders from overseas. Um, so hopefully you will get your t-shirts before Christmas. Um, that's what they've been told. So exciting stuff. Love them. Love them. Okay, cool. So. I built this desk because I needed an office to, to work on whilst we were on the road. Um, I didn't want to sit on the, in the normal dinette, so we built this. So here's the stuff that we filmed before we even started the channel. Check it out. Okay, so I have a job to do today. And something that I'm a bit worried about because I need to Do this in a way that doesn't damage the trailer. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Or if it will work, but it's the whole reason we bought a bunkhouse. So, let me open this up and show you what I mean. That's the bunkhouse back there. Now I can sit here at the table, but I'm going to work here every day, all day, it's not the most comfortable place to sit, if I'm honest. The seats are okay, maybe I could eat here, I could probably sit here for an hour or two, but we're talking eight hours a day, and I don't think I could sit here. So, the reason we got the bunkhouse was so that I could make that my office. So let me open that up and show you. I'm going to show you a full view. This is the bunkhouse. So I'm not gonna mess with the bed up here. If we have people stay with us or for any reason we need someone here, they can stay here. On this side, on this side what we have is, there was a sofa here, we've taken that out. There was another bunk here that used to flip up. So. My plan is, this is now clear, we've taken that out, I want a desk here. So the first problem I had was the floor. This is a good, probably three or four inches up, if you can see that. That's exactly where I'd want my chair. So I would be sat here, like this. So that's not going to work. So my only other option was to put it sideways. So either on that side or on this side. Now, when the air conditioning is on, it's pretty loud. So, my problem there is I'm gonna have the sound. Also, if Natalie and the dogs are walking around, I don't want that sound there. So I've decided I'm gonna put it this side. So that the, the microphone, if I'm on a conference call or on a video call, the microphone is facing this way rather than straight out into there. <laughs> I know the dimensions that I want. Um, I also 
uh, measured previously how far the slide comes in. I have an ultra wide monitor, so I don't want that. If I put that here somewhere, I don't want that hitting this when the slide comes in. So I've got enough space for that. So I've taken the measurements. I think it needs to be around 28, 29 tall. Doesn't sound like much, but I measured my desk inside and it looks right. Um, and then, yeah, so I need to go and make that, throw some bits of wood together, put a desk in here, give it a bit of stain. Um, in theory, pretty simple. Okay, for the stain, I bought premium wood stain. I bought Kona, uh, I got it from Home Depot. It looked like the, the, the nearest color I could find, so I'm gonna try that. Um, I already had some Minwax clear brushing lacquer, so I'm gonna throw some of that on, see how it turns out. I won't make you watch paint dry like I'm going to, so let's fast forward. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done. Uh, cut a few bits of wood, screwed them together, uh, put a top on it, uh, stained it, and then lacquered it. And here is the finished article. So, nice, this will be the front. This will be the uh, the corner, um, so that I don't smash myself if I try and walk walk past it. It always happens. And um, yeah, so it's not the best job in the world, but I think it's gonna work. So now, I need to go fit it in the trailer. Okay, so there it is. It's pretty good. I think the, the wood color fits pretty well. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I've got the stand there. I need to build some legs uh, that come out here. Um, so uh, yeah, that's my next job on the list, but I like it. It fits well, it's perfect size. I can have my laptop and my monitor behind it. So yeah, cool. So this is the final product. This is what I used for uh, well over five months uh, working on the road every day, in, day in, day out. It worked brilliantly. The only thing I'd say is it's not quite big enough. So I had my big screen, I had my PC underneath and I had my work laptop. Um, so it's fine if you're just using a laptop, brilliant, perfect, no worries, loads of depth. Um, the height was fine. Um, but I would like something a little bit bigger. So I've cleared everything out for now because I've got another plan that I think I'm gonna do. Um, it needs a bit more planning because it's a bit more of a, a bigger overhaul. So keep an eye out for that. I'm, I'm hoping to start work on that very soon. But as you can see, I put the struts on um, and it just worked great. No problem at all. Um, I strongly recommend it. It's much, much better for your bag than the, uh, than the standard dinette. So yeah, definitely recommended. All right, cool. If you enjoyed this, please uh, hit subscribe, like the video. Um, any comments or suggestions or recommendations, then please do leave them below in the comments. You can also email us or check us out on our website, brazenbrits.com. And yeah, have a great weekend. <laughs>